let's talk Rocket Lab and Kratos Defense and Security Partnership. Right guys, we're back to Rocket Lab, and boy have I got some news for you. Kratos Defense and Security and Rocket Lab's partnership has hit a massive catalyst to drive both stock prices even higher. Let's look at the partnership, and then let's see what happened today. But first, make sure you bang that subscribe button, as we're the fastest growing next generation technology channel on YouTube, and we're pumping at least one video a day out to keep you updated on everything Rocket Lab. So make sure you've hit it. Right guys, let's waste no more time and let's get right into it. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions has secured a monumental contract from the US Department of Defense for a Multi-Service Advanced Capability Hypersonic Testbed or MAC-TB. And this is the second generation. And it was announced today, January 6th. This contract potentially is worth 1.45 billion over the next five years and it marks a significant advancement in hypersonic technology development. Rocket Lab, renowned for its innovative space launch solutions, has joined forces with Kratos in this venture, alongside companies like Lidos, Coda Technologies and Corvid Technologies. This collaboration is not just about pushing the boundaries of speed in aerospace, it's about strategic alliance and aimed at enhancing national security through rapid technological advancement. The MAC-TB 2.0 program is designed to serve as a critical intermediary step between ground-based testing and fully operational hypersonic systems. By facilitating more frequent and sophisticated flight tests, the initiative aims to mitigate the risks associated with hypersonic weapon deployment, ensuring that these systems reach operational status which are both effective and reliable. Rocket Lab's role in this partnership is primarily to provide launch services, capitalizing on their expertise in deploying small satellites to ensure that the test vehicles can be launched efficiently and accurately into their test flight paths. This involves comprehensive activities from system engineering to mission planning, ensuring that each test is not only a step towards the operational readiness, but also a learning opportunity for future iterations. So then let's speak about the benefit of sonic development. So we have the rapid prototyping and testing. The speed with which the new technologies can be tested is crucial in hypersonics. The partnership leverages Rocket Lab's quick turnaround time for launches, allowing for an accelerated testing schedule, which is essential for staying ahead of the defense technologies, where speed can equate to strategic advantage. Then we have imitation of real-world scenarios. Hypersonic testing needs to simulate the real-world conditions as closely as possible. The speed in deploying these tests means that different scenarios can be explored more rapidly improving the robustness and adaptability of the systems. Then we have the feedback loop. Faster test cycles mean quicker feedback on what works and what doesn't. Think about Starship. This allows for immediate iterations. This reduces the time from concept to deployment, ensuring that the US military can leverage the latest hypersonic technology on the battlefield or for strategic deterrence. Then we can look at the investment opportunities and benefits for both Rocket Lab and Kratos. So speaking about stock performance, for investors, the partnership between Rocket Lab and Kratos presents an opportunity to invest in the companies at the forefront of defense technology. The announcement of such significant contracts can positively impact stock prices as it signals growth, innovation and potential revenue streams from governmental contracts. If we focus down on Rocket Lab, investors have seen an uptick in stock value as the company's role in hypersonic testing adds to its portfolio beyond the commercial launches. This diversification is appealing to the investors looking at stability and growth in the aerospace. Then looking at Kratos Defense's stock, with Kratos leading the contract, their stock is benefiting from received stability and expansion of their role in national defense projects, particularly those with high technological innovation and potential future contracts. Investing in these companies means supporting entities that are shaping future defense capabilities. The hypersonic technology market is burgeoning and is being tied to successful projects like the Mac TB2, and it could position the companies as leaders, attracting further investment and partnerships. If we look at the potential long-term contracts, the nature of this deal, spanning over five years with potential options of extension, offers a level of revenue predictability that is attractive to investors. It suggests a steady income stream, which can be particularly appealing in the often volatile defense sector. Both Rocket Lab and Kratos are not just participating in this contract, while also potentially expanding their technological capabilities. Let's talk about innovation and expansion. For Rocket Lab, we may see developing a more sophisticated haste launch vehicle, which can drive heavier hypersonic payloads. For Kratos, it's another step in the journey towards a key player in the affordable, high-tech defense solution sector. 
And then let's look at global market position. With the US aiming to maintain or regain technological superiority in areas like hypersonics, companies involved in these projects stand to gain the international recognition and potentially export opportunities subject to export control and international agreements. The partnership between Rocket Lab and Kratos under the MACTB 2.0 contract is more than just a business deal. It's a strategic move that could redefine the future of hypersonic flight testing and deployment. Rocket Lab has soared over 500% in the last year, and I've covered it here in a comprehensive review of 2024, with 2025 targets to watch out for. So make sure to meet me here next.